Hello guys, welcome back to my channel. As you saw in the title, I've got a really, really cool product in the mail. I'm so, so excited. So I ordered this myself. I've seen people get this package in PR. This is like a PR package, but it's really like a vault of every product. So I ordered this from Beauty Creations and I actually had never used their products before, but when I saw this, I actually saw on their Instagram, the groupings of each color family. And I was like, I need those. But then when I saw this package, I was like, oh my, fucking god i have to have it <laughs> so it's from beauty creations this is what we look like so this is a color wheel i am so excited so they came out with this new line of products called dare to be bright and essentially in here you have every product in the line so the collection has three different types of products in 12 colors so one of the products you can get is the color base primer super cute these go for only four dollars a piece they do have bundles as well you would pay 48 dollars if you bought them separately you can get a bundle with all 12 shades for 44. the next product are the gel pots as you can see same red color and these go for three dollars a piece and then it also comes with gel pencils which are also three dollars a piece so obviously if you were to buy them all separately you would pay 36 dollars to get all 12 pencils 36 dollars to get all 12 gel pots but they have bundles online if you're just interested in one type of product you can get all 12 of either of these for 34 dollars. so 12 of these for 34 12 of these for 34 but this that i got was $100 and honestly I felt like that was a pretty damn good deal so what we're gonna do is spin the wheel I have to spin the wheel also I should note too that the gel pots actually dry down to a matte finish the color based primers do not and then you have your long wear gel pencils that's basically how they're described on the website because I wanted to look at it and like check it out and see um, but it essentially says that the gel pot is a multi-use matte finish that can be used to enhance your everyday eye look. The gel liner is again multi-use with the smoothest application, easy to glide formula. And then your base primer is just a multi-use gel product that enhances your eyeshadow, face makeup, cheeks, lips, etc. And any other creative looks you can think of. So I'm thinking, depending on what color I get, you could use this for literally just about anything. So let's go ahead and spin the wheel. It's so cute. Okay, we got pink. So that's definitely going to be a great one because we can try out that base primer in so many ways. So a little closer look, the base primer is called Barbie Pink. I'm gonna go ahead and swatch these. I'm not sure if they're gonna be the exact same color or a little bit different. And this is supposed to be a gel formula, so it might feel a little bit different than other bases that we might be used to. Ooh, it feels nice. I mean, what am I gonna, ooh, that feels crazy. It's definitely got a gel cream texture, but pigmented. So the colors are pretty much spot on. So if you're wanting, you know, matching colors, then you definitely have it. I've gotta think about this because I'm not sure exactly what I wanna do yet. You could do so many different things with these. So I'm kind of tempted to try to use them all in ways that you'll be able to see the colors because if you layer everything up, I mean, it's going to look super similar because these colors are like matching sets. So hmm. I'm gonna do some of my makeup off camera and then come back and we'll definitely start to play with these. I think I'm gonna try to use this as blush as well. I think that will be super fun. Also, let me see. I'm just curious what it's gonna do. Okay, that's like full on color whoa the consistency on my lips kind of feels like like a cream the color <laughs> the color so i know I look like a clown with nothing else on and this on my lips you could totally use these as lipstick i would probably line my lips but it feels like it's drying down some it actually feels like it might stick around pretty well so okay i'm gonna have to come up with a game plan of how i want to use this and do my other makeup and then i'll be right back all right as you can see <laughs> i look super pale but i wanted to try out the base primer as blush before i got too far into the makeup just in case i need to take this off and my foundation's light i'm just gonna bronze it up and once i set it it'll kind of like deepen a little bit i've only set like right here which is why my under eye doesn't look so bright because it's been set and the rest of my face hasn't oh my god does anybody else get like super itchy like the moment that you have makeup on and you're not supposed to touch your face Let's try this, this NYX brush. <laughs> I 
think this look calls for some blush across the nose just because we know it's gonna be a little crazy. So I did some blending with my sponge, which toned it down a little bit, but I'm still gonna put on powder and a lot of other stuff. So I don't wanna, I don't wanna take it down too much because then I feel like I may be going too far. I don't wanna have to add other blush on top of this. The back of my hand is, is <laughs> it's just gonna be pink, it's fine. I'm just taking a bit more. So it layers really nicely. It's looking pretty seamless on the skin. It's obviously very bold. Ooh, this on some deeper skin though. I'm gonna go back off camera, do a bunch of other stuff and we'll come back to do eyes. So I decided, since I didn't know quite what I was doing, I decided to do one eye off camera so that you can see what we created and then I'm gonna tell you how I did it. First up, I did grab the two bases that are Ballerina Girl and White Out, so like the tan and the white, and I mixed them on the back of my hand. So I'm taking it on a little flat concealer brush, mixing it up. I started by putting it just a little bit down here, kind of carved out underneath my brow, taking a flat brush and just blending that down a little bit. Now I had a little bit of a different idea of what I was doing, so I'm gonna tell you the steps that I did, but I actually wound up cutting some of this out, but just for, you can see all the steps. So I basically wound up packing it pretty much everywhere, but just not a lot of product on the crease. So then I'm just taking a little bit of our pink base, which is called Barbie Pink, and just like a little, little nugget you do not need a lot and then i'm taking this this is a morphe e17 it's a little like rounded crease brush this i probably need to replace because i actually really like this crease brush but you can definitely just get something like the same size i'm working a little bit of product off the brush onto my hand just so i a little bit more control but as you can see it's very very bold and i'm kind of like packing and moving it a little bit not really blending, but I am moving the product around. I took it into the inner corner and I did go ahead and put it like up, right up against my brow. So it may even be like creeping in there a little bit. And then I grabbed a bigger brush. This is the Morphe E13, which is a little bit fuller and it's a nice blending brush. And a nice little tip too, if you're working with cream products like this, you can always go back in to your flat brush and add a little bit more of your base and it'll help it blur or if you took it a little bit too high, no biggie. So I initially started just cutting the crease but because the base is so bright, I wound up kind of removing it. So I actually took one of these little Almay eye makeup remover wipes. Take a Q-tip, remove some of this. So I could have skipped some of that base in the beginning but that's what I did. So because if we're cutting the crease over top of that pink, it's gonna be really shining through and I wanted to have a cleaner line and I added some little embellishments as you can see, but I wanted to have a nice little crisp line, just like a normal cut crease, but I'm gonna do like that. And I mentioned in my last video that I don't usually cut the crease all the way across, but I just kind of felt like it was gonna work with this and it turned out really cute. So I'm packing that on, lifting my lid, and it looked like I got a pretty decent line. It looks like I did the right shape. All right, and I always feel like the hardest part <laughs> with this type of look is making sure they're even. So I always check that and double check it and triple check it, but it helps with the embellishment because you can kind of adjust it a little bit. If your shape is off, if you're adding glitter or stones or something like that, you can kind of hide that fact a little bit more. I just stuck little different pieces of glitter on there and they're a few different sizes. I am gonna set it. I'm actually taking RCMA powder and it has no color in it, so it's not gonna shift the color of the base because I mixed those so that I would have like not white, but like a little fairer than my complexion, you know? And it actually turned out well, so I'm just gonna pack RCMA powder on there. I also took a really fluffy brush and very gently just swept so that I don't have any excess on there. I'm taking the gel pot and I'm using a little angle brush. This is a Sigma winged liner. It's an E06. So basically I started with my liner and I just went ahead and packed some color. I've made such a mess. 
pants. There's glitter everywhere. There's pink everywhere. All right, liner's done. It's not anything too crazy, but I feel like with everything else going on, it's best to keep that kind of simple. I also did a little bit of base, a little bullet crease brush. This is Morphe M321, just a teensy bit of the pink base. And I'm taking that under my lower lash line. Again, super pigmented, so I have like this teensy little pin prick amount. Going back to that crease brush that I used to blend out the base on the top. And then I'm using that same brush that I dipped into the powder to set the base on the lid. And I'm just taking a little bit, I'm not going right onto it, but I'm putting a little bit of powder right on the edge there. And then I'm gonna take that blendy brush, kinda move that powder in there. All right, that way that doesn't move. And then finally, we have to use our gel pencil. So this is Dreamtopia. <laughs> so again, gel pencil, and this is a long wearing one. Glides on nicely in the waterline, and this one has been sitting for a little bit and it has not budged. All right, so this is gonna take a little bit, so I'm going to add my lashes and my little embellishment and we'll be right back. All right, so here's my finished look using our Beauty Creations goodies. Once again, the, the quality is just great, but especially when you consider the price, because once again, $4 for the bases and $3 each for the gel pots and the gel liners. Everything is just working really, really well. These, these bases are super, pigmented. I feel like this would really help if you have some patchy shadows because you're going to layer this on and the color is there underneath versus like a plain base. But these are really, really nice. I'm super stoked that I got the color wheel. Like I think it's I think it's so good and I have no affiliation with, be with Beauty Creations. I've this is my first purchase, but you know, if y'all want to holler at me, um, on a serious note, I think it's really, really good. I hope you guys had fun watching this little look come together. And yeah, I like it. Also, this worked really well as blush, by the way. And I feel like you could do so many things with these. They're so pigmented too that, I mean, I would try this as like a face paint. Like if you were wanting to do something artistic, I feel like you could totally do that because they recommend these for eyes, for lips, for everything. So they're definitely gonna be fine on the face. So I would totally try that there as well. But yeah, what do you guys think about my look? I definitely wanna do this again. Do you guys wanna see me use the wheel again and just pick another color? Um, I next time maybe wanna pick two or three and like mix the colors together, do something like that. I had a lot of fun creating this. I hope you guys enjoyed. Thank you for hanging with me. And yeah, give it a thumbs up if you enjoy and I'll see you in my next one. Bye guys.